right. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, hello everyone. This is my first BlenderCon. Uh, a little bit nervous, but I think I should be fine. Anyway, um, I'm before I start the presentation, I just want to say thanks to the entire Blender community and the um, Blender themselves for giving this opportunity. And let's see if the slides will work. All right. So, how did I get from just being a kid to meeting the t the one of the two most legendary directors ever and still being a kid? Um, <laughs> so, my name's Preston Matanga. I'm 15 years old. I made this presentation at like 14, though, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I worked on Across the Spider Verse. My hobbies are Lego, Blender, animation. I love Stranger Things. I also love drawing. And um, I'm a YouTuber. I upload to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> So um, how I got into Blender, I first like was super inspired by all these animated movies, mainly from Pixar, like you know, Toy Story, Brave, the Lego Movie, especially Monsters University, uh, Angry the Angry Birds Movie. Yeah, it was just those kind, those movies that really inspired me. That was like, hey, I kind of want to do th this 3D animation thing. So um, I found out about Blender when my dad. Hello. <laughs> was using it for medical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to that. Uh, anyway, I first found out about him y using it because he was using it for um, some medical physicist stuff. He's a medical physicist and he uses it for like treating cancer and stuff. So um, uh, yeah, he uses it for. <laughs> <laughs> He uses it for like designing some machines and like just simple geometric shapes. Um, one day I like found him using it, and I was like, "Hey, what's this?" And he was like, "It's Blender." And then I I did some research, and then I found out that it's like I could use it for animations and like 3D stuff. And it, and I got super invested on like day one. So like I remember the first tutorial I ever followed was of course the donut, as you can see. <laughs> Yeah, um, I did the old version too. Only real ones remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, moving on. Um, my first Lego animation was, I want to say like 2018, something like that. I first started using Blender, by the way, in 2017. So like when I was seven, eight years old, something like that. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can see not too much going on here, just like me experimenting. Um, the first one I believe I followed the tutorial for that. I animated it myself though, but like, yeah, it's just, um, it's just a basic minifigure waving, um, made it limp syncing nonsense. <laughs> um, and then for my first animation, I'm not sure if it's gonna play or not, but it's at the bottom. It was just um, the minifigure jumping from one brick to another. I was testing movement and I got the models from Mega Bricks for that. And yeah, I also used a rig. I forgot to mention for the first one that you can see in the top, it's like I used, I just moved the parts individually, which looking back, that wasn't a great way to animate, but you know, we learn. And then for this, yeah, for the second one, it was like I was actually using a rig to like move every bone in like one armature. All right, so after over two years with Blender, I started doing like modeling my own stuff. Well, existing characters, and um, tested out materials and rigging. The first one, you can see it's Patrick from SpongeBob. I made it into a 3D model. I think the burger I got from like Blend Swap or something. Um, the second one at the bottom is a minion. I That might have been a tutorial too. These are really old, so I don't remember too much, but yeah, you can see he's just holding a mug, stuff like that. You know, I'm just experimenting tiny bit with lighting, not so much there though, like more modeling, materials, surfacing, that sort of thing. Um, second one is Barry from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too. Um, I also modeled that myself and I used the particle system for the grass. Second, the um, third, no, fourth one, um, it's just um, the text, it says new and old to avoid any confusion. They're both old, but one of, the <laughs> one of them is newer, I guess, 
um, the, the one that says old is like really old. I was just testing to see how I evolved from like my modeling. And yeah, you can see one is arguably better than the other. <laughs> um, fifth one is red from the Angry Birds movie. Um, yeah, I was messing around with like particle systems, like using hair. This was before geometry nodes existed, by the way. I used this. I started my first ever Blender version was like 2.78. So, and then last one is Chicken Joe from Surf's Up. Yeah, it's also me just messing around with particle systems and hair. All right, over three years with animation, uh, no, with Blender, I'm messing around more with lighting and compositing. You can see, oh, okay, the animations aren't playing, but <laughs> the first one is just like the Luxo lamp. It was jumping on the ball. And then the second one, it was like E from Wall E, um, just like hopping out of the cup. Um, there was like, those motion blur, I think. I was testing out motion blur with that second one. Then the first one, it was mainly like lighting, you know, used a spot lamp, added some chromatic aberration, and I did all the compositing with Blender. All right, and uh, my current hardware, I have for a GPU. Um, I have a 4070 Ti NVIDIA. My processor is an Intel Core seventh generation. My, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. Well, now actually 128, this is outdated. <laughs> and then um, storage, two terabytes uh, of Kingston Fury. Um, also, I wanted to give a special thanks to Kingston for sponsoring this trip and providing me with most of the stuff that I needed for my computer. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's it for that slide. <laughs> All right, so now that I've said a little bit about my backstory, story time's over, I'm gonna start talking about some of my newer advanced animations and how I made them. First, I'm just gonna go over animation, then particle systems, then lighting. All right, first, um, is, here's my reel. I'm not sure how we can get that to play. Click on it. Click on it. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> So first, I'm going to be discussing animation and how I did that, um, some of the, the scenes, that, the shots that I did in that. So first, I'm just gonna say like how, like one effect where you can get, how you can kind of like record your animation. So let me play the video. So you can see I have my scene here, I have my characters, Max, Dustin, Lucas, Steve, and we have this rising effect here, like she's rising, like it kind of looks like she's on string, you know, I kind of wanted that effect. So what I did, was that I turned on auto keyframe, 
Um, I selected the bone I wanted, like the one that I be wanted to move during the scene. Uh, then I position, I like start the animation while hitting spacebar, so that I'm just dragging it up while it's um, while it's playing. And then you can play it back and then see that it's like recorded your animation, you know. So yeah, I think that's a that's a cool effect you can get. And uh, yeah, we can see the final result here, blending into the yeah. <laughs> And lastly, no, not lastly, second point, I wanted to talk about animating on twos. You can see how it kind of looks a bit weird, like out of camera view, it's just kind of the minifigure sliding. But I just wanted to say, like, this is how you can like pin it to the camera, just like um, added constraint to it, like a child up constraint, and you can see how it looks good from the camera. And yeah, this is, how, this is the final result. And um, now I'm gonna be talking about some lighting aspects. Uh, once again, you can see we have our scene. There's a motorcycle, there's Miguel, there's Spider-Woman on the bike. Um, yeah, another thing, one thing I found really useful, learned this from Blender Guru, is an IES lighting. So it gets super realistic lights, and you just have to, it's super simple node setup, just an IES node, plug it into strength, and then, yeah, you can get some really cool looking results. This is another example of it here, I think. Uh, yeah, so this is just um, spot lighting. And now I wanted to talk about rim lights, you know, the red light behind Miles. Just change like the spread to 90 degrees so it won't show up too much on like the unreflective surfaces like the floor. And you can adjust the strength. And um, yeah, I think this is, yeah, this is how you get like a nice rim light and it applies to any scenario. All right, next, um, with this glitching effect. Um, it's an icosphere with the node set up as shown there, three refraction, re three refraction nodes. It, it, yeah, a lot of things, like, it looks stupid outside, but, you know, when you, actually from the camera view, it looks good. You know, it's a cool, it's a cool kind of glitching effect. You can adjust the refraction values, you can change the colors, that sort of thing, that's what I'm demonstrating. And lastly, I think particle systems. Um, I'm gonna say how I did the rain. Uh, so yeah, here we have our scene, we have miles, um, we have a huge plane that isn't visible to the camera, but you can see that it's, it's emitting rain. So what I did was I just, I got another icosphere and I stretched it, gave it a glass shader, and then made it instance with the particle system. And for the panel that I did at the bottom, I think I just used Blender's video editor for that. And um, so for the conclusion, Blender really allows you to be like creative. Your imagination still live. You know, you like I've seen um, animations that the community has made, the animation festival especially. There's been a lot of su um, submissions, really talented submissions, and uh, I think that Blender already has like all the tools and resources to make incredible, absolutely incredible animations, and that's re really thanks to the community. And Blender is open source and free, so with its huge community, you can like, you can collaborate with fellow users on like Discord and whatnot, and create like fantastic, fantastic looking animations, because the uh, software is definitely capable of it. And I think, okay, so acknowledgement slides, you know, mecha breaks for the models. Blender, obviously, because that's what I use, that's what I've always been using. Sony, um, Lego, and Kingston for providing, for sponsoring the trip, and for providing the stuff for my computer. And the, also the real music was by Philip B. Seen. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, th thank you all. Thank you all so much. It really means a lot. So um, if any of you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.